I read about the story of a man named Bishop Dak Howard Mills. He's in Ghana. That man was in Ghana, then he suffered in Ghana, suffered so badly. Until God so helped him, he encountered the Holy Ghost and he, God granted him access to the compelling power of the Lord called Anakazo. If you wrote a book, Anakazo, the compelling power, he was more like an evangelist. But this guy suffered from his beginning. But at the tail end, if there are people that do massive crusade in the whole world, apart from that in right hand bunker, is Bishop Dakawad Mills. Went to the UK, shut down UK, within the African region, everywhere he go, there was a power that compared. But these were people that there was a time in their life they were suffering, going through pain in the campus. I want to let you understand that it's out of the ashes of dying that glory is revealed. There is nothing that God wants to bet that God does not trash it. Upon the threshing floor is how things are generated. Nobody just get happen like that. No. What you are going through is a fullness of affliction. It's a fullness of pain. After a while, a glory will come. But it's going to take a while. So my job is to be able to bring you to that point where you judge God faithful at all costs until the day of your lifting. Because for adventure, God was about to lift you two days from now and you give up today. There are people that their breakthrough was supposed to come tomorrow and today they gave up. Imagine a day before David slew Goliath. Imagine a day before Joseph was taken to the heart of Potiphar. It looked like a disappointment. It looked like a curse until his feet stepped into the house of Potiphar. A man sold as a slave was going as a slave, stepped into a house and it became a blessing in the house. How can you explain that? A lady that was a slave, yet again a slave, became a queen. See, your life may be like this. Going through all kinds of things. Nobody believes in you. Don't worry. It may look like a curse. Like a dream in the night. It will turn and become a blessing. But many more times, you cannot fully understand what God is doing. Because the wisdom of God is not always given to men that cheaply. There is a politics that God played. And sometimes only upon the heart of men that are willing to bear in this suffering. My gentle sin, 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 my gentle sin. My gentle say, my gentle say, my gentle say, my gentle say. Luke chapter 6, 23. The Bible says, Rejoice ye in the day and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophet. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall be hungered. Woe unto you that laugh, for ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you when all men speak well of you, for so did well of their fathers, the first prophet. And I say unto you, which hear, love your enemies. Do good to them which hate you. Bless them that curse you. I pray for them which despitefully use you. And unto him that smit thee on that one cheek, offer the other. And to him that take away thy cloak, forbid not to take thy cloak also, their coat also. See, 
you cannot tell me that everybody is going to like you. One of the greatest true tests to show that you are wrong is that everybody like you. Jesus said, woe unto you if everybody speak good of you. If you truly are a Christian and you love God, there are people that will hate you. I'm very serious. There are people that your life is going to offend them. Yes. Why? Because you are not of this world. How on earth do you want everybody to be okay with you? They can't be. So Jesus said, go unto you, even when you are laughing too much, because there are days of cry. You are only permitted to laugh when you have cried. Because a day will come when you will have to cry. Many of you have never cried. I bring you a good news. You are going to cry. I know it's a bad news to you, but it's a good news. The Bible said, woe unto you if you are always full. That means you have never been hungry before. Because you are going to be hungry. Please, if you are here, you have never been hungry before. Please, tomorrow, wake up and not eat. Please, know what hunger is. Because you must be hungry. Part of the allotment of this kingdom is suffering. You must be hungry. You must cry. People must despise you. They must speak evil against you. It's part of it. For why? I don't know. It's part of what you must go through. For God to form your heart. And God to bring you to a point where your heart posture is right in seeking of him. How can you be a human being? You have never cried before. Jesus said woe unto you because you are going to cry. Start crying now. Because one day we come in your room. Uh, for why? We don't know. Now welcome. How can you be a human being? You have never gone hungry before. Please, you must go hungry. Wake up tomorrow, decide not to eat or carry your food. That's to your neighbor. Stay hungry. When hunger hits you very well, you say, wow, so this is what hunger is. <laughs> Glory be to God. Father, I'm hungry now, so can I eat now? Because woe unto you if you have never been hungry before. Hunger is part of the parameter for suffering. Many of you, you have never lost anything before. Please. It's not a bad news, so you will lose something. No matter how much you keep on mounting up. As you mount up, some things will mount down. But all is for your glory. The way of this kingdom is the way of suffering, my friends. We are prepared for it. See, I, Philip Cephas, am prepared for anything. If you don't come close to me, you will never know I have a problem. You will never know. Because in the midst of those problems, those challenges, it will look as though they are nothing. Because I have already circumcised my heart that nothing shall separate me from this love of God. Mark 10, 25. The Bible says it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And they were astonished out of the measure, saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? And Jesus said, And Jesus, looking upon them, said, With men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. Then Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all and followed thee. And Jesus answered and said, Verily, I say unto you, There is no man that have left house, or brethren, or sister, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or land, for my sake, and the gospel. But he shall receive a hundredfold now in time, houses, and brethren, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands, with persecution, and in the world to come, eternal life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. 